Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. The kimono, right? The tight and it's colorful, right? Those type of dresses. That's something that's particular to them. That's the way they're dressed. That's part of their heritage, part right. of their culture. You understand what I'm saying? For us as a nation of people, what is something that we do that's traditional, uh, that's cultural for us, that nobody else does? Can you name anything? No, not really. Why? Because our true heritage and our true culture was taken from us. Bring it up. You understand that? So read that again. Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 4. Uh -huh. And thou, even thyself, read, shalt discontinue from thy heritage. So we were going to stop our true heritage. That also comes with our name. We're the only people that don't hold on to our name. For example, what's a Chinese last name? A Chinese man. What, what's some type of last name they have? Li, Ying, Yang, Chang, all that, right? Hey. But they all got the same name. If you go to a so-called white man, they all have European names. If you go to a Arab That's man, right. they all have Arab yeah. names. But in the black community, yeah. we have all types of names. Oh. I keep reading that. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 4. Uh -huh. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage Read. that I gave thee. Uh -huh. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies and the land which thou knowest not. So God says, because of our disobedience, we were going to serve our enemies in a land which thou knewest not. Where is the land that we didn't know when we got here? What land is that? Have we ever been to America before? Before we were brought here in slave ships? No. So read that scripture again. Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 4. Uh -huh. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage Read? that I gave thee, uh -huh. and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. He's going to cause us to serve our enemies. Who were we slaves to when we got here? What people were the rulers? Who were the slave masters? And who was the slaves? Black people was the what? We were the slaves, and who were the slave masters? The white people. Read that again. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. Thine enemies, read. And the land which thou knowest not. Uh -huh. For ye have kindled a fire in mine anger, uh -huh. which shall burn forever. So, when we got here, we had to serve our slave masters. God called them our enemies. Y'all ever heard that before? Y'all ain't never heard that before, right? You didn't know the white man was your enemy, did you? You thought God loved everybody, didn't you? You think God loved everybody? You thought that before you came up. It's all right. You thought God loved everybody? Well, I'm going to show you. Check this out. First, I'm going to show you what God thinks of you all, and then I'm going to show you why we got in this predicament, and I'm going to show you how to fix it, all right? Right. Now, give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6 real quick. I want to show you how God views both of you in his eyes. You understand that? Because y'all ain't ordinary. Who runs the sports leagues here in America? What group of people dominate sports? Huh? What group? Is it the white man, the Chinese man dominating the sports world? Who? White? No. Who are the athletes? Who are the best athletes on the team? You know. You know. Lamar Jackson, he's white or black? LeBron James, he black or white? Kobe Bryant was what? Michael Jordan is what? Right. Randy Moss is what? Calvin Johnson is what? So we can go all day long, and you're going to keep going back to who? Our people or their people? Our people. That's right. We dominate everything. Beyonce is what? Jay-Z is what? Kendrick Lamar is what? Right. So how do we dominate everything? We sing the best. We dance the best. We run the fastest. We jump the highest.
But why is it us as a people, we are at the bottom of society? Because those people that I just named, they are exceptions to the rule, right? They don't live a normal life that we live. But in every hood and every ghetto across America, we can name somebody that can play ball just as good as LeBron. We can name a sister that can sing just as well as Beyonce, so on and so forth. But for different reasons in their life, they don't reach that level, right? Whether it's they didn't have a family, so they didn't have the grades, they couldn't go to school. They got a child when they was in the 10th grade, so they dropped out. Different things happen. But what I'm showing you is that we have the talent and the ability inside of us that we are greater than all other people. Right. And the Bible says so as well. That's right. Listen good. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. Listen to the scripture now. For thou art an holy people. God says you are a holy people. Read. Unto the Lord thy God. Uh-huh. The Lord thy God have chosen thee. The what? Have chosen thee. God chose us. To do what? To be a special people. God chose us to what? To be a special people. You ever heard that? Y'all ever heard that you're a special people before? Right. God chose us to be a special people. What? Unto himself. Uh-huh. Above. What? Above. Even. Above. Under. Above. What? Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So God says that we are supposed to be above all people upon the face of the earth. Now when you look at us today, are we above all people? As a nation of people, are we above all people? No, we're not. Why is that? Why are we not above all people, but we have the skill set to? We dominate all the leagues, but we don't own any teams. We dominate the music industry, but we don't own the labels. We create all the inventions, but we don't have any patents. Why is that? Y'all got an answer? Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 48. I'm going to show you why. What we're showing you right now is the oppression of our people and why it's happening. You will not get these answers in any other religion, doctrine, or philosophy. The Nawabian man can't tell you who you are and why you're being oppressed. Christianity can't tell you who you are and why you're being oppressed. Islam can't tell you who you are and why you are being oppressed. Politics will not lead you out of the hood or ghetto or slums. The only answer is in the Bible. Listen good. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 48. Uh-huh. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. Y'all listen. What did it say? Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. God says because of our disobedience we were going to serve our enemies. Who do we say our enemies were? The white man. Right. Along with all the other nations. Because guess what? If you want to go get a job, who's going to be the manager nine times out of ten? The white man. If you want to work at a, any store most nine times out of ten, guess who's the owner? The white man. So you're going to have to serve your enemies. Read. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Now this is what a lot of people don't understand. God set these people against us because of our disobedience. Read. You know? Which the Lord shall send against thee. Uh-huh. And hunger. And what? And hunger. So if you want something to eat, brother, where you go? Where you go if you're home? Checkers, where you go if you're home? Huh? Bethune Grill. Okay. I, I, I pray Bethune Grill owned by a black man. I don't know. But I know Checkers. Who do you think owned Checkers? The white man. Who owned McDonald's? Wendy's? Burger King? Dunkin' Donuts? 7-Eleven? Wawa? Wherever you go, nine times out of ten is going to be owned by your oppressor. Now the question you got to ask yourself is, if all my brothers out here are so business minded, which we are, we, we can make a dollar out of 15 cents, or 15 cents out of a dollar, however the saying go. 50 Cent got shot nine times, he made it a hit song and became a millionaire. We have brothers that have the intellectual mindset, but us as a people, we continue to remain at the bottom. Why is that? Because God says you're going to serve your enemies. Read, in hunger, and in thirst. And in thirst. Y'all ain't old enough yet, but guess what? For you to have running water in your house, guess who you got to pay? You got to pay the bill, right? right? Guess who controls it, that light, if the water's co come on in that house? The white man. He, cause guess what? He controls the water supply for every house. It ain't free. Even though water is a free supply, you got to pay for it. Read. And then nakedness. And what? And then nakedness. And in nakedness, meaning clothing. If you want clothes, where you got to go, bro? 
What stores you go to? You go to the mall, what, what stores you go to in the mall? H&M. H&M. Who own H&M? The white. white man. You want to buy polo? You like polo, right? Who own that? The white man. You want to buy Tommy Hilfiger? White man. Gucci? Prada? Versace? Versace, Versace, Versace. That's the white man. You understand that? All of these things that we love and we hold dear to is our oppressor. Right. And God said, he set them over us. You understand that? Keep reading. And in want of all things. And in want of all things. Now we're going to get into what I really want to go into. Listen good, brothers. What color is Jesus Christ? You say white? What you say? Black? Okay, why you say black? You just throwing it out there? Okay. Why you say white? You've seen the image of a white Jesus before, right? I would imagine. you seen the image of a white Jesus before? Yes? Okay, so now I'm going to bring you over here to this exhibit. So this is exhibit A, this is exhibit B. Now, both of y'all had different answers. Now we're going to read the Bible and see which one is true. Now remember, who did God say we were going to serve according to the Bible? Who did he say we were going to serve? Or what? Our enemies, right? So our enemies gave us their portrayal of their God. You understand that? They took our people and made them white. But I'm going to read it to you out of the Bible. Revelation 1 and 14. Revelation chapter 1 verse 14. This is the description of Jesus Christ, the Messiah, the greatest man that ever walked the earth. Listen good. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So, hold on. It says his head and his hairs were white like wool. Which one of these have white woolly hair? This one, right? Okay, so that's strike one for this image, right? Read. As white as snow. Uh huh. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his eyes were as a flame of fire, meaning red, because Christ drunk wine. Which one of these images have red eyes? This one. Okay, read. And his feet like unto fine brass. And his feet was like unto fine brass. What color is brass? It's brown. It's brown. Like a penny, right? Like copper? That's brass. Read. But listen good to what it says. As if they burned in a furnace. As if what? As if they burned in a furnace. As if it burned in a furnace. Now, if you have a penny and you burn it, what color is it going to be? Uh-uh. If you burn a penny, what color is it going to be? Black. If you burn anything, it's going to be black. Would you agree? If you burn a piece of rice, what color is it going to turn? Black. So which one of these images is the true image? This image. You see that, brother? So you got to ask yourself, why did they give us a white image of Jesus Christ? Why y'all think they did that? Why you think they gave us a white image of Christ? Give me Daniel 8 and 25. What you say, bro? Why they gave us a white image? You don't know? What you say? No idea? Okay, good, 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 good. So, see our brothers and sisters fighting each other a lot? Y'all see fight? You seen a fight before, right? How many times you seen two little white kids fighting each other? You saw it once, twice, maybe? Not, not, a, do you see it as much as you see how people fight each other? No. How about you, brother? Growing up, who you see fighting each other more? White, white on white or black people? Right, right. More black people, right? Hold on, let me holler at you, big dog. Ah, uh, you tired? All right. Hey, the scripture says, come on unto me that are heavy and laden and I give you rest. Yes, come right. on over. So, why is it that we fight each other, bro? That, ask yourself this. I'm going to show you why we fight each other. It's because we don't know who we are. Because of this image of this white man, we look at the white man as God. But we look at each other as niggas. You, you understand what I'm saying? That's why they gave you that image of a white man. Now, what I have, Joe? Daniel 8, read that. Daniel chapter 8, verse 25. Uh huh. And through his policy. And what? And through his policy. So the white man, through his policy, through his telling you that you are black, through his telling you that you're no good, that you're dumb, that you're not as well as him, read. Also, he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand. So he causes the craft to prosper in his hand. What is, what is the craft that he wants? He wants you to hate each other and love the white man. Has that worked in our communities? Yeah, it's worked. Do they have a white world star hip hop? Bring it out. Teach us. No? Do you see a white viral fight every other day 
day of white people all fighting each other and, and, and punching each other in the head and running? No, you don't see that, do you? Kicking little no. babies. Right. Do you see little white boys throwing white girls in the trash can and running? You don't see that. Why is that? Because guess what? They understand who they are or who they think they are. They think more highly of themselves to treat each other in that manner. Daniel 9 and 12, real quick. Daniel 9 and 12. Daniel, chapter 9, verse 12. Or do I want 7? I want uh, identity. We don't have no identity. Daniel, chapter 9, verse 7. Uh huh. O Lord. O Lord, read. Righteousness belongeth unto thee. So righteousness belongs unto us. You listen to Newton? Righteousness belongeth unto us. Read. But unto us. But what? But unto us. Uh huh. Confusion of faces. But guess what we've been given? We've been given confusion of faces. We don't know who we are as a people. We don't understand our true identity. And when we do, we get shot down. Bring it up. We, we have to make an apology to the white man for saying the truth. Bring it up. And I want y'all to look that up. Y'all got y'all y'all on social media? No? Okay, you on the internet? You know how to get on the internet? I want both of y'all, when you leave, research Deshaun Jackson and research Nick Cannon and what they said. And you'll see, what they said is the same thing that I talked to you. Did anything I tell you today not was not in the Bible? Everything I told you was in the Bible, right? So what I want you to understand is, when he spoke the truth, they made him cover it up. You understand? And you got a question in your mind, why did they do that? It's because they don't want you to know who you are. You understand? Right. Right. Give me John 8 and 32. When you know who you are, young man, you're the greatest person upon the face of the earth. That's right. When you know who you are, you become great. Malcolm X came through your lineage. Martin Luther King came through your lineage. Jesus Christ came through your lineage. They are scared of another black messiah coming on this earth. Because when we are empowered, when we have our brains, when we have our minds in tune with the Bible, it's a bad story for them. The end is coming quick. You understand that? If black people put as much power and effort into keeping God's laws as they did into scoring touchdowns, this earth would have been over with. That's right. You understand that? We train day and night to try to make it to the league. We put more effort in than anybody else. We on eight, nine, ten different teams throughout the summer. Lifting weights, running, trying to get this GPA, that GPA. If we did that to please God, imagine what our communities would look like. Bring it up. All right. Got it. John chapter 8, verse 32. John 8, 32. Listen good. And ye shall know the truth. God says, and ye shall know the truth. Free. And the truth shall about. make you free. And what? And the truth shall make you free. You see that? The truth is coming out. Right. Because when you know the truth according to the Bible, you are able to liberate yourself and those around you. Good. Right now, our people are not free. Our people don't know who they are. They are slaves to the mindset and to the doctrines that's been taught to them. Right. Right. They think they're black. They think they're Hispanic. They're Negro. They're colored. But God says you are the Israelites. Right. Give me Isaiah chapter 49 and verse 6. Y'all follow along. Now, I'm going to read this scripture and then I'm going to go back to the curses. Because i got to continue to show you so y'all understand your history. Right now, y'all don't even know y'all own history. I can't believe y'all don't know about slavery. Y'all don't know about the slave ships and how we were brought over here to America? Any of y'all saw, um, what's the name of the movie, uh, what you call it, made? Birth of, a birth of a Nation. Did y'all see Birth of a, birth of a Nation? Two years. It was about Nat Turner. Y'all know who Nat Turner is? Huh? Who is he? Nah, he, wasn't, he, was, he was a slave that led a uh, slave rebellion. He led a slave rebellion. All right, you got that? Yes, sir. Read that. Isaiah chapter 49, verse 6. Uh-huh. And he said... It is a light thing. It is what? It is a light thing. Read. That thou shouldest be my servant uh -huh. to raise up the tribes of Jacob. To do what? To raise up the tribes of Jacob. God says it's a light thing to raise up the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. Right. What is that telling you? That's telling you that right now the 12 tribes of Israel are at the bottom. Right. They do not know who they are. The tents of Judah have fallen. Right. And it needs to be picked up. So if you think everything is all right in our communities, you are wrong. 
Right. You are not in tune with the Bible. Read that again. Isaiah chapter 49 verse 6. Uh -huh. And he said, it is a light thing that thou shouldest be my servant. Read. To raise up the tribes of Jacob. To do what? To raise up the tribes of Jacob. Those are the tribes of Jacob. Right. All of those brothers on there and sisters on there, those are your people. Right. But they'll never teach you that. Read. And to restore. And to what? And to restore. And to restore. You brothers over there cleaning the cars, y'all know about restoring. That means in one state is not where it's supposed to be. But with a little work, a little effort, you put your people back into the position they're supposed to be in. That's right. God says we're supposed to be above all people upon the face of the earth. But right now, we are at the bottom. Give me that in Isaiah where it says lay your bodies down at the ground. How do we know we're at the bottom? Because every time our brothers stand up and admit who we are as a people, the white man, specifically the Jewish man, says, hey, you can't say that. You have to apologize for speaking the truth. You have to lay down on the ground. I'm going to show you what it means. That's right. You got that? Isaiah chapter 51 verse 23. Uh -huh. But I will put it into the hand of them uh -huh. that afflict thee, uh -huh. which have said to thy soul. Which have said to thy soul. This is what the white man says to us. Read. Bow down. Do what? Bow down. How does the white man tell us to bow down? They give us white Jesus. Hey, get out. How does the white man tell our celebrities to bow down? They make them issue an apology. How do they make our pastors and preachers bow down? They tell them, you can't teach them who they are. If you do, we're not going to support your church any longer. Read. That we may go over. That what? That we may go over. We have to live up to the standard that the white man set for us. So that they can go over. So that they can do what they want as a people. Y'all understand that? Read. And thou has laid thy body as the ground. We have what? Has laid thy body as the ground. Now, did y'all see what happened with George Floyd? You saw that? You saw that, brother? Give me Lamentations 4. I mean 5. I want the next one next under persecution. Why do you think that happened? Because he was an Israelite. Now you're starting to think now. Because he was an Israelite, that happened to him. What'd you say, bro? What happened to George Floyd? You think that was right? Was that right what they did to him? What you say? No? So the question is, I'm going to show you why it happened, and then I'm going to give you the solution of how you stop it from happening. Y'all understand that? Bring it out. Listen good. Lamentations chapter 5 verse 5. Uh-huh. Our next. Our what? Our next. Our what? Our next. Read. Our under persecution. The Bible once again is relevant in 2020. That's right. First we showed you what happened to Nick Cannon. Now we're showing you what happened to George Floyd out of a book that everybody claims to that be so old and it's not relevant for today. What did the Bible say? Our next are under persecution. The Bible says that our necks are under persecution. Read. We labor and have no rest. We labor and have no rest. We have been marching, protesting, and voting for hundreds of years here in America. But every four years, we gather ourselves together to run right back down to the voting, voting booth with faith and belief that things are going to change. Bring it out. That Barack Obama brought us hope. Trump said, you got, you got, why not give it a shot? You tried everything else. I don't even know what Joe Biden's philosophy is, but it's the same thing over and over and over again. Right. Out. Your rest is not in politics. Your rest is not in the Christian church. Right. Your rest is coming back to who you are, according to the Bible. That's right. We are the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. Right. Until we admit that and keep his commandments, we're going to remain here in America. Bring it out. Give me Lamentations 2 in verse 14. Let I'm going to show you what God said we must change. Read that. Lamentations chapter 2 verse 14. Uh -huh. Thy prophets have seen vain and foolish things. God says that our prophets have seen vain and foolish things. Haley Selassie. Uh, uh, what's the dude? Farrakhan. Bring it out. Uh, who else we got? Jesse Jackson. T.D. Jakes. Creflo Dollar. Read. And they have not discovered thine iniquity. And they have what? They have not 
discovered thine iniquity. You see that? Your pastors have not discovered your iniquity. Y'all listening, brothers? Your iniquity is your sin. They haven't told you what you're doing wrong. Because guess what? You said you play sports, right? Let's say you ran the wrong route 10 times in a row. What's going to happen? Huh? You're going to get in trouble, right? That's what's happening with us. We're running the wrong play as a nation. You understand that? We keep going the wrong way over and over and over again. But the people that are set up over us, are they telling us, hey, you need to change this and change that? They're not. So what happens? Read. To turn away thy captivity. You see that? Once they tell us what we're doing wrong, we will get delivered out of the condition that we're Power. in. Power. While Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.